So hey everyone, welcome to Clack Point. Today we have uh, Analyst 2022 All India Rank uh, 2, uh, Akash. So today's session is going to happen. We will try to uh, get as many as possible inputs from him that he had done his preparation in which way. How was his part A, part B ka approach? And how can you help him with his preparation? Because uh, getting Rank 2 is a very big achievement. Hai. और वो भी एनालिस्ट है जैसे एग्जाम्स के अंदर तो सबसे पहले तो आकाश को कांग्रेचुलेशन आकाश की बार नाउ इन एनालिस्ट आई इंडियाज बेस्ट लॉ कॉलेज तो चलिए फिर शुरू करते हैं लेट्स कम टू द पॉइंट सो आकाश सबसे पहले यू टेल मी कि फर्स्ट जब आपको पता पड़ा कि ऐसा कोई एग्जाम है मतलब देयर इज गोइंग टू बी सम एग्जाम लाइक दिस सो हाउ यू स्टार्टेड योर प्रिपरेशन फॉर एनालिस्ट सेट व्हाट वाज इन योर माइंड uh first of all thank you mana for having me and thank you for your wishes uh to answer the question uh I would say that I was looking forward to join DU LLB uh, when the exam was announced. It was a very new exam and uh, it was announced very, uh, you know, recently. It was a very short notice for us to prepare as well. I think two months or three months before the exam, the registrations opened or something like that. I don't remember exactly. Um, I would say that the preparation for DU LLB uh, would serve as a good pattern for NLSAT as well. The only minor changes I would think are there's no math portion here. There's no quantitative aptitude here. It's just all it is uh, more based reasoning on... based and ap application based. Yeah. Yeah, Manav, did you say something? No, 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 you uh, continue. I, I was just trying to say ki the NLSAT paper is more based on English. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so DU uh, is is only the quantitative, the multiple choice question paper format, right? But in uh, NLSAT, that is the first part. That's only the first hurdle. You, you'll also have to focus on the second hurdle. So if you have some sort of already uh, prepared uh, legal entrance coaching or something like that, or if you're just reading the news, if you're just following the legal uh, happenings in the country, reading some bar and bench or live law or the Hindu or something on a regular basis, I think you will be covered in the uh, first part. Even there, it's not like road remembering of answers. It's about, or, or facts. It's about uh, deducing the answer from the given passage. So yeah. it's, it's more focused on English comprehension, I would say. So reading the question is very important. You can't just skim through the question and, uh, you, you can't just skim through passages and say that I, I will focus on the question. You you need to know the passage before you attempt the question. So it might be lengthy for some people. Many people did complain about not being able to finish the paper in the uh, 2022 NLSAT. So one tip I would say is time management. So when they issue the practice papers, read uh, time yourself, read the question and uh, see how much time you take per answer. And accordingly, allot your time. I mean, if, you, if you're stuck in some question, don't waste time uh, trying to satisfy your ego, trying to find the answer for that question, no matter what, because you will eventually lose. There are many people uh, who, you know, lost out marks in the second part because they focus too much time on the part one, uh, you know, MCQs. I, I personally, I, 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 whenever I thought an MCQ question was kind of sketchy or I don't know the answer, it's a gray area sort of question, I skipped it. Uh, if you look at my rank, uh, I was, I don't remember exactly, I think 35, 40 something in 40, I think, in the part A rank, but I'm AR2 in part B. Uh, the difference I chose to make is that part A, 300 people get chosen, right, from that. So if, if you focus all your time on answering those MCQs, you will lose out a significant portion of time from there the essay questions. Are, the essay are, questions are what? I got 50 marks in part A, but didn't get the NL, NLSIU. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Many people got very significantly better marks in part A, but did not qualify in part B because they, skipped, they did not have time to finish part B. Many people complained about leaving one or two questions. Many people complained about the current affairs essay, the last, very last question being too lengthy to finish. But you have to know that the mark distribution is significantly higher for the current affairs question than anything else. And you have choice there. You have four topics given and you have to choose any one topic to write about. So it's a very significantly lenient paper as long as you know how to manage your time, as long as you know how to prioritize which part is important. That's all I would say. 
ऑल्सो आकाश ऑल्सो हेल्प इन आर कंटेंट इन लीगल वाला थिंग सो अभी तो वो काफी हम लोग उसमें भी चीजें गाइड करते हैं बताते हैं क्वेश्चन भी क्रिएट करते हैं द थिंग इज आकाश की द पेपर वॉज फर्स्ट लाइक दिस इन इंडिया की कुछ इस तरीके का पेपर आया है सो हाउ यू वेंट फॉर द एस ए वाला पार्ट एंड हाउ डिड यू प्रैक्टिस द लीगल वाला पार्ट एंड हैव यू एवर प्रैक्टिस और जस्ट वेंट टू द पेपर एंड इट वेंट ऑल वेल ऑनेस्टली सो आई 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 हैव सम डी एल एल बी प्रैक्टिस ऑनलाइन टेस्ट आई थिंक नॉट सीरियस प्रिपरेशन uh but i did use the universal guide uh, uh lexis nexis it's on i i don't remember its name it's it's a guide for dllb and clat uh i i used that for general understanding of legal aptitude questions but the questions you have there are uh just multiple choice questions it's not the same type of questions that nls is framing it's more comprehension based like you said so i would say use these uh, patterns and former question papers of du llb etc as some sort of frame of reference it's not exactly nlsat nlsat question paper of 2022 would would have been out by now i uh, i mean everybody would have shared it on, on online uh, websites and blog posts so i think practicing that paper would make more sense uh in in terms of approaching the paper uh, so essay uh they they were very clear about the parameters they were looking for while while they started the exam they should very clear guidelines they're not looking for us to brag about uh how much law we know or what sort of legal points legal maxims sections of some contract act or the articles of the constitution they're not looking for us to give those specific show off sort of points they're looking for us to show our comprehension of the question and approach of it so we just have to i think focus more on uh legal principles or sort of uh arguing for both sides while discussing the answer because eventually most questions that you would have noticed in part b would have been like uh, dis- decide this dispute as a judge or something like that so when you do that you can't just argue for one side and say this is my judgment you have to argue uh, on the other side as well and say why that argument is being discounted for the other one i think that is also the sort of instructions i have given in the uh, questions i set for the uh, clat point practice questions i think those would help as well that sort of thinking uh, you can only uh, you know get from practice so i i would suggest look at the sample papers that they are issuing look at the previous year paper uh, the advantage that 2023 batch will have is that it's no longer a new exam uh it's yeah. that the 2022 yeah, batch fine. we are here to tell you what happened we are here to uh help out uh, our our experiences would would count in your practice and your preparation so i would suggest yeah uh like don't get uh too used to the previous other exams try to tailor your approach to the criteria that the nls is issuing they're very clear about what they're looking for if you just listen to that i think तो अभी तक जितना भी हमारा बात हुआ उसको मैं समराइज करूं आप लोगों के लिए तो आकाश इज जस्ट ट्राइंग टू टेल कि भाई पेपर ए जो है ना वो इम्पोर्टेंट है लेकिन वो इतना इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है कि आप पूरा टाइम उसी पे लगाएं यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन पेपर बी बिकॉज दैट इज द पेपर विच इज गोइंग टू मेक यू इन टू एन नॉट द पेपर ए तो वो एक तो आकाश टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट एन एल एस आई लाइक नो यू वेंट देर सो हाउ इज लाइफ गॉट चेंज लाइक Uh, मतलब मोटिवेट द एस्पिरेंट्स हु आर गोइंग टू अपीयर इन दिस ईयर और इन फ्यूचर सो टेल मी व्हाट इज द मेजर डिफरेंस यू आर गेटिंग टू फाइंड इन आई एम सॉरी अबाउट द डॉग नॉइस आउटसाइड आई मीन इट्स वेरी कॉमन इन एनालिसिस एज़ वेल एनालिसिस हैज अ लॉट ऑफ कैंपस डॉग्स इट्स अ वेरी चिल कैंपस इट्स अ लॉट ऑफ स्मार्ट पीपल uh gathered in one place some of the uh, brightest legal aptitude minds in the country gathered in one place brightest professors great infrastructure and uh, resources i think uh, especially for the llb batch i would say it's a very diverse pool that this exam is bringing in because it's not just a uh, quantitative like sort of mcq sort of thing this is a very rigorous choosing process so it it filters out a lot of rote learning it it filters only the you know actually capable legal minds in the country and i think reaching there uh, it's a shock it's a very cultural shock i mean after doing a ug 
where it's a semester based system in every other college i i think uh, here it's a trimester system in nls and it's very fast paced uh, before you open your eyes you you're done with the first trimester three months are over and uh, you you have no idea how the three months went by there'll be projects there'll be exams there'll be uh, assignments uh, they, every day you have to read like hundreds of pages of material before you come to class uh, there's a lot of self learning so i think students should be prepared for that uh, it's not just about cracking the exam the exam portion they're not giving much importance to when it comes to nlsat you once you've done the exam you're not uh, crowned as some sort of celebrity there and it's it's that's not the way it works they once once you've done with the exam that's done uh, right now you're going to get tortured uh, with all the rigorous syllabus uh if you have the commitment to it it's a very happy place to be you can learn a lot from a lot of experienced professors the faculty there they are the ones who have written the book literally on the subjects that they're, that they are teaching uh, uh professor nigam he is a registrar he is the authority on tax law in the country in the entire nation uh, professor uh, arun tirvengadam he is the the foremost expert in constitutional law in the country uh uh professor sudhir he is i mean everybody knows sudhir uh, he he is on the he is the indian representative on the facebook's ultimate body of dispute resolution uh, which which is a congregation of the foremost constitutional law scholars in the in the entire world such faculty you can get to learn from uh, so it's a wonderful opportunity it's a humbling opportunity uh, next, after ug we think we have like, mastered like, something uh, infrastructure in nls i use on another level like everything you are going to get into the campus like i mean yes uh, the library it's state of the art it's uh, the best legal library uh, it's the largest legal library in the country uh, it's uh, the infrastructure is expanding rapidly as we speak they are adding new blocks they are adding a uh, new faculty uh, so the experience is quite thrilling once you get there it's very fast paced there are many uh curricular and co-curricular committees the student committee is very active the student body is very active uh i think it's a lot of uh you know enthusiasm and uh, you know fulfillment that you can look forward to if you clear this long and arduous exam part a part b interview i would say it's worth it yeah so last thing akash uh, uh, there is nothing to talk so much about this exam because everything is now on the internet i was just trying to get the experience from him ki how he uh, make it and everything about it so last thing akash like you said the process is very lengthy so one thing is very important in this exam is the patience the role of patience like you need to be very patient like for paper a paper b then interview for the result itself and also this exam is very uh, ambiguous like uh, there is only 60 seats and there are 15 20 unreserved seats so uh, what are your suggestions to the students ki just get matlab Uh, just dependent upon this exam or also think about other exams other alternatives if possible and uh, what are your, what are your take on it so i would say uh, in the last year it was only 60 seats and i i assume thousands of people wrote across the country uh, uh, it is a very tough competition the percentage of clearing is very uh, narrow so i would suggest you uh, have backup plans backup degrees or backup colleges in in mind but the primary uh, consideration should be I, i i think as a general category student i also wondered whether i'll get in i was making calculations about how many seats there will be uh, for a general category male from outside of karnataka uh, it's it's it, it is quite a you know i would say very stunning process to go through i mean uh, i was waiting anxiously for a long time for the results and the communication was very uh, yeah. you know it was the first with time they take very time yeah yeah so we don't exactly know when so when the results are going to be or whether pub- they're going to be published or what's going to happen we were very clueless about everything uh, i would suggest you have some backups and it's i i i believe they're thinking of expanding seats because uh, with the ba llb program the five year program they're also looking at they're at 180 now they used to be 60 as well a few years ago then they eventually expanded to 120 and they eventually now are at 180 three sections so i believe that might happen with the llb batch as But well 
the if, students writing this exam will also increase with time yes yes that's also true so i i, I would suggest have some backups if you're that confident about the preparation if you're that confident you're going to get in well, well you don't have to have backup one thing no about choice, this but... exam uh, you need to be you need to be very confident about your english you need to be have a grasp on english because there is a writing process in it so uh, first of all everyone should analysis you matlab uh, aap logo ko apne bare mein janna hoga dekhna hoga aur aisa nahi ki english you cannot improve if uh, you are serious about this exam you can take time you can uh, work on your english writing wala section you can work like uh, you can do multiple time practice and everything answer writing practice so this is how uh, you can do it like uh, why i am telling this Akhan, another because... thing i would suggest is on that line uh there are many people in my batch right now who have qualified and sat uh, who are from like non english medium backgrounds in schools and colleges uh they, they did uh struggle with the fact that the entrance as well as once you get in english is given a lot of priority in the reading material the writing you, you're expected to have a sort of standard in, in the language but i would say that that's not a impediment that that could be a challenge i would say that yes i had a lot of experience writing and I, my background is in mass communication and journalism so my english is pretty decent so it's fine but there were many people who did testify to struggling uh, with the adaptation i wouldn't say that it's a very huge issue that you cannot get in if you are from a non english background i would say that as long as you uh can understand english even if you can't put it into uh, very eloquent terms or very perfect sentences if your points make sense if your points are of value if your points carry some merit as to some if you've just written jargon and if you've just written fluff in in very good english you're not going to get in you need to analyze the question properly you need to know you, you need to break down what are the given facts what is the given issue how do you how are you going to resolve it what sort of legal principle or law are you going to apply uh, so you need to have that understanding and i think expressing that in basic terms is fine you don't have to they're not looking for you to you know use a thesaurus and write very complicated terms they just want simple terms simple sort of understanding you just need to be concise and straight to the point that's that's all it's required so just have a basic understanding of the language and just focus on uh quality over quantity in writing i would say quality over everything else the quality of your points instead of the length of the essay or the because they're going to give you only one page per question there's no word limit they just say write within this one page there's no extra sheets there so you have to be able to you know consolidate your points within that given frame just focus on the quality over everything else that's all i would say so it was very uh, nice of you akash to allocate time to us and help the aspirants who are going to appear in this exam in future so thank you so much akash and last words for the aspirants who are going to come in your college uh, your future juniors you want to <laughs> yeah i hope to see a lot of you in in nls next year uh, as the first batch we have a lot of responsibility and uh, i look forward to sharing more experiences once you're there so thank you akash and thank you everyone for watching this uh, thank you akash